I don't normally drink my coffee like this. It's uh, yeah, not with OJ at, at least. I don't, I don't like it, but I don't like dislike it. I mean, the color looks weird. It looks like, I, especially this one has like popping it, which makes it even worse. Like, just take a look at this. It looks horrible with the popes too. It's, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird weird combo. Yeah, I don't know how to describe this. It's very interesting. You should give it a try. But who knows, maybe you'll like it. So I've been carrying the Ricoh Girard 3X pretty much everywhere with me, like every single day ever since I got it. It just stays in my pocket all the time. And whenever I need to take a shot and document something, or if there's like a moment in front of me that I want to capture and remember. This is my go-to camera now instead of my phone, my iPhone 13 Pro. I mean, if I still need to capture like a really wide angle shot to like keep everything in there in frame, I'll use my phone since it's got like a 26 millimeter, even an ultra wide angle. But I say around 80% of the time I use my Ricoh instead of my phone. It's just a lot more fun to play with it and to capture photos with this camera. And I think that's what the camera is made for, like just everyday carry. The intention of this camera is for you to bring it everywhere with you, inside your pocket, and just document your normal, regular, everyday life. Or as simple as it is, that's gonna be the camera that you have with you all the time, which is the best camera. And I bring my Rico with me like everywhere. When I hang out with friends, when I'm taking a walk in the neighborhood, when I go to the grocery stores, just like literally everywhere inside my pocket. I was supposed to meet my friend here at 3 o'clock. He's like 25 minutes late. Am I manual here? Oh no. No, it's not manual. Okay. I think right now it's auto focus. Okay, hold on. You can also use snap focus. Oh, okay. So it's a 40 millimeter equipped. Benny, what do you hey. think about the Ricoh GR 3X? <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> too small. <laughs> yeah, too small, too tiny. Well, the first impression is like first is small, very tiny, and then it's like portable. Right. So you can just right. like put it in the pocket and take it out, shoot mm -hmm. at any time. I mean, that's the best thing. If you miss the moment, you mm -hmm. miss the moment. So exactly. this is a like pretty handy for you to just snap at any mm -hmm. time. You don't have to grab your. 70 to 200 out of your Not bag. Oh, as, as a matter of fact, you know what? If I have to shoot with this, uh -huh. at first I need to take off the cap. And That's this one, true. you don't have to take off the cap. You're right, he has a point. Uh, on and off. There you go. You ready yeah. to shoot? That's actually a good point. You don't need to take off the cap. You actually do have to for mm -hmm. like a lot of different cameras. Exactly. And second, um, the quality when I look at the display. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's pretty good and it's pretty easy to operate for adjusting the aperture and the ISO. So, yes. Just whip out the camera and then take the photo. Yep, here you go. <laughs> Thanks, man. I he, still he doesn't, mind. <laughs> he doesn't want, too small for him. He likes it big. Yep. yep. <laughs> but usually, if I go out now, I don't even bring a bag. <laughs> I just bring this. Oh, yeah. Put this that's, in my pocket. that's good. Thanks and crispy. Oh my god, I want a 70 to go through now. I want everything. Look at this optical. Oh my god, this lens. <laughs> sexy. So sexy. And I know it. I gotta get myself a 70 to 200. Get your own. The RF version. I don't need that. <laughs> this is called vintage. Yeah. <laughs> Hello.
There's a lot of reason why I prefer using the Rico whenever I can instead of my phone. And it's just not because of the focal length, even though that does kind of matter sometimes because a 40 is a really fun focal length for me at least to use, to play with. But mostly it's because of that creative process. Like using a Rico to take photos, it's just a whole lot different than using your phone. Like for example, if I want to change like, I don't know, like shutter speed, aperture, ISO, I can simply do that just by flicking it with my fingers and my thumb. But on a phone, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of apps out there that let you control like all these kind of like manual stuff that you can do on the camera, but it doesn't, like there's no tactile feelings to it. You have to do a touch screen thing and oftentimes you might miss fiddling around with all the adjustments and then yeah you might miss the shot by you know just playing around with the settings but with the Rico it's just really reliable in that sense of like control another thing about this is that this has an APS-C sensor like the sensor is way bigger than the phone the, quali the image quality is just yeah there's no comparison here and like I mentioned earlier whenever I need like a wider focal length I just reach for my phone because I pretty much have all the focal length covered. Another advantage that I've noticed is that whenever I'm using a Ricoh, nobody cares. Like, people don't look at you, like, I don't know, take you seriously, which is a good thing in this, you know, street photography thing. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I was able to, like, use the Ricoh and take photos just like the phone by using the touch, focus, and shoot option on here like this looks like i'm using an iphone mini either the 12 or the 13 like to take photos and somehow it just works nobody just nobody cares if you're taking photos like this and that kind of low profile just makes everything so much more simple like i have access to a lot of more places than i used to with like a big camera like this I feel like there's so much more that we can talk about between the Rico and the phone. There's so much more differences and advantages one over the other. And no, I'm not saying that the phone is bad or anything. It's still a very versatile tool inside my pocket. I still use it all the time whenever I need to. But the Rico, it it just hits different. I feel like changing a screen protector is one of the most nerve-wracking things that you can do. My goodness, this is just so with all the alignment and everything, you know? But once you get it right, that feeling is so satisfying. <laughs> I see why you don't like the, the Ricoh GR. 